What's going on everybody? Tone here, uh, Top Pin Outdoors. Appreciate y'all uh, click on this video. Just want to take a minute and show y'all uh, what we are doing for public land hunting this year. Um, I public land hunted a lot in the past and got out of it when my kids were smaller. Now that my kids are getting older, um, my oldest son Reed especially, you've seen him on other videos. Um, he's very much into archery and bow hunting and wants to shoot his first deer. And so we're going to take advantage of some public land hunting close to us here in North Texas. And uh, so I sold all my stands and I had climbers and lock-ons and stuff. I sold all those when the kids were younger and I got out of it. But got back into it, started doing some research. I wanted to share this with y'all on what we're doing. If any of y'all are interested, I'll try to put a link in the description. If I forget, y'all keep me honest, remind me, I'll, I'll be happy to throw one in there for y'all. The, uh, both of these stands and the sticks are Hawk brand. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you here is the Hawk Helium Micro Ultralight something or another. Um, link in the description. Uh, this is what um, I'm going to hunt out of this stand and then we're both, me and Reed are both going to use the sticks. So first y'all, uh, this stand and climbing sticks came with minimal instructions. Uh, it had some instructions on how to assemble it. it had, uh, a lot of it had to be assembled after it, I got it shipped to me. But there was nothing on YouTube or anywhere about how to carry the stand, how to uh, attach the sticks to the stand to be able to carry them, none of that kind of stuff. So I, I played around with it for a while and um, I may do another video and show y'all in detail if y'all want on, on um, exactly how I, I have attached all this, but I'm not gonna get into that today. I'm gonna show y'all the whole setup. So this is, this is the stand and the sticks um, all together. Let me move the camera back so you can see it better. See it right there. So, I got this set up right here for $219. Super cheap. Um, the backpack is something I added to it. I'll show y'all another video about that if y'all are interested. All right, y'all. So this is what it looks like from behind. These are the, there's four sticks right here mounted uh, to the stand. This is the stand here. This is the seat platform, and then. This is the back side of it with the backpack. So like I said, that setup alone was 219 bucks. And um, if you wanna do the backpack thing, there's a couple companies that make those specifically for lock-ons. I actually had a backpack and I took it apart and was able to use the, the straps, the waist belt um, to attach to that. Um, Again, I, you know, you guys can go online and look at it. I'm not going to get super detailed into it right now. Um, mainly wanted to show y'all uh, just how you can get into a cheap, um, you know, public land, lightweight hunting setup, uh, you know, for, for less than 300 bucks, probably less than 250 bucks. Now, this is one thing I bought. I bought two of these. They're Hawk brand. And this attaches to the tree with a ratchet strap right here. And... This makes, if you've ever hung a lock-on stand, this makes it much, much easier. So this part right here will attach to the tree and then the stand, you can you know pull the stand up with a rope or whatever once you get this part on the tree and then you just take it and stick it on there and, it, and it's in place and you can put this nut back on if you want. I don't know that you need it unless you're up there jumping around or something, but uh, and then it's in place. Um, if you're not familiar with you know hanging a lock-on stand the reason this is important is because when you're up there with your lineman's belt around the tree on your harness and you're hanging there and trying to hold that stand up and hold it to the tree and get the ratchet strap around the tree and then ratchet it down it is very difficult so that piece right there all you got to do is just hold this in place throw the ratchet strap around the tree, get it snug down. Then, like I said, you can pull the stand up and throw it on there. So these are, I wanna say, they were 29 bucks or 39 bucks. Um, but like I said, if you buy one, if you, if you want to forego this, you could, I would recommend not though. Um, but you could get into that, those sticks to the stand and this for, um, you know, 250, 300 bucks, which is super cheap. So, like I said, I got that, I don't know if I said it, I got that off of Midway USA on sale, it was like half off. They run those sales during the summertime, I don't know how long they're going to run it for, 
but if you miss the sale, they're almost twice that much. Um, so go check them out, see if they're still on sale. I'll leave a link in the description. In case somebody asks, that setup right there with the stand and the sticks is 30 pounds. So uh, with the backpack straps, 30 pounds, you know, and the rest of your gear, you're probably looking at about 40 pounds, which is, you can probably definitely go cheaper, I'm sorry, go um, lighter weight, but going up to the next level of lightweight stands, you're gonna jump up in price significantly. You're gonna be $600 or more. Um, so for us, that's a that's a good deal. So we got, we got that, um, that right there is a setup and then I'm gonna hunt out of that stand because it's smaller and I've hunted in the air a lot more and have more experience. So what uh, what Reed's gonna hunt out of is this. This is again a Hawk brand. And this is their Mega, what's it called? Mega Combat Hang On. As you can tell, this platform is significantly bigger than that one, it's almost twice the size and it alone weighs 17 pounds. Um, it does, which was kind of cool, it does come with backpack straps. So I'll probably be carrying the heavier one and then Reed will be carrying this one. Um, and you know, hopefully we'll be walking a mile or less um, when we walk into any public land. So, um, and we're gonna get, start doing a little, some exercise and stuff and get prepared for that. But uh, I, I think he'll be able to hack it and I'll, I'll be able to as well. Um, the reason I'm putting him in the bigger stand is, like I said earlier, he's, I've got more experience hunting out of a stand. Um, he, he's, this will be his first year archery hunting, his first year hunting really like deer hunting on public land, and um, this will be his first year hunting out of a anything in the air, a lighter stand uh, or anything like that, a lock on, anything. So um, just trying to make him feel as comfortable as possible when he's up in the air, you know, drawing a bow back and whatnot. So we've been practicing here at the house out of uh, a ladder stand to get him used to it. We're going to go to public land or go somewhere where we can get it to on a. We don't have a big tree on our property, but somewhere we have a tree, we can hang all this stuff up and uh, you know get more accustomed with it. So that bigger stand, I got it for 129 at Shields, and they actually delivered it for free. Um, so all in, I, and I bought uh, another one of these for it as well, and then. I don't know if you can see, but right, uh, right there is the hole that it that that locks into. So all in, uh, like three, four, right around five hundred bucks. All in for you know two stands, one of them larger sticks, the um, the easy hangers, all that stuff. So. Um, but the main thing I wanted to show y'all is just, uh, if you're an individual, one person hunting, you can get into this stand if it's on sale for, and I've, I've seen somewhere where somebody online said it was on sale for $199 before, which is really, really cheap. But you can get into that for, you know, around 250 bucks, which is super cheap. A lot of guys do, you know, hunting out of a saddle. Um, I, I did the research, and if I did my own DIY saddle, um, like a, like a lineman's harness, uh, lower half harness, and um, the, the climbing sticks, and uh, a platform to stand on, and, and all everything you would need for, for to hunt out of a saddle. I was going to be right at about what I'd spend on this, um, so I just want to hit with that. I'd feel better on a platform anyway. So, um, and of course we got safety uh, safety harnesses, uh, lineman's belts going on the tree, you know, tethers, all that kind of stuff. We're going to take care of all that. So. Um, let me, I'm going to put this thing on and give you all a better look at what it looks like uh, when I'm carrying it. You can see my dang camera with these white walls sometimes I want to focus. It's pretty compact. Um, close to your back, a bit snug. Said so this backpack was a came in really clutch uh, to haul this on, um, but if you're creative, you can come up with one um, without having to spend too much money. All right, y'all. Hope that helps for y'all. I am definitely no expert hunting public land, but I, I've done a little bit in the past for for deer, especially. But just wanted to share that with y'all. Got some other things. Um, I've been doing a lot of research and just kind of drawing back on what I used to do and coming up with different things. I got some other things I want to show you all in some other videos. 
If y'all would like to see a detailed video on how to put that hawk stand together, um, how, I had nobody figure, you know, show me how to do it. I literally set up my shop and would go out there and like try to figure out how those sticks would stand, get on there and stay in place with a ratchet strap and without the stick stabbing you or something, the, the climbing leg stabbing you or whatever. So I messed around with it for probably a week, week and a half, just every time I'd go out there and look at it and move around, I finally figured it out. So, and like I said, there is zero information out there about it. So I think maybe it may be helpful to some of y'all. So let me know below if y'all uh, are interested in that. Um, yeah, um, lots more to come. Like I always say, uh, if y'all came over from the other channel, we appreciate you being here. If y'all um, are just new to the channel, thanks again for being here. Um, lots more to come. Uh, lots of taxidermy stuff coming up. We're getting prepared for that now. Lots of hunting coming up. We're getting prepared. Uh, here in North Texas, dove season it fires off in less than a month. Uh, I've already started applying for some public land hunts. I mean, I'm, it's, it's go time. I'm excited. Uh, the kids are excited and we can't wait all right y'all appreciate the support uh appreciate y'all interacting and being here um, it's a little channel now we're really hoping to grow it so if you like what you see please subscribe stick around uh thank y'all we'll see y'all again